Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Charles Peace. In today's video, we'll be making a beautiful two side raw food pencil skirt. So, guys, for the skirt, in my previous video, I showed how to cut this particular pencil skirt. So, if you have not watched it, I'll put the link at the description box. Make sure you click the link and watch. Then you follow up to this one. So, guys, I've already sewn my dart. You can see. I've sewn the dart and I went ahead to turn it with my lining and see I've turned it with my lining and ironed it. This is the two back pieces and this is the front piece. And for the band, I went ahead to iron it, you can see, and I folded in half an inch for the seam, this is the seam allowance, I folded in two sides. So guys, this is the band, then for the ruffle, I have five inches that is unfold, it will be 2.5 inches. Then for the length, I use three times of the length of the skirt, depending on how full or how scanty you want it to be. If you want it to be full, you can go ahead and make it like mine. I'm using three times of the length. But if you want it to be scanty, you can go ahead and make it two times, or depending on how you want it. So I've already Fold it into two, I've top stitch on it and ironed it as well. So the next thing will be to place the ruffle. I'll put the back pieces aside. Now I'll be working with only the front piece. Now for the ruffle, I don't want it to start at this edge here. I want to come in by one inch it, because my ruffle is not big. If you have a bigger ruffle, let's say three inches or 3.5, you can as well start from the side there but since my mine is 2.5 i want it to come out very well so i want to start from the one inch i'll come in by one inch i'll just mark one one inch i'll just mark one one inch straight down to the two sides i'm not supposed to use chalk but because this place will be covered with the same line when i join the both the front and the back pieces together so that's why I'm making it for you to see it very well. I'll go ahead and join the lines. Then at the damp part, I will make it the same one inch or half inch rather. So I'll do the same to the second side as well. So guys, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, click on the bell icon to be notified anytime I upload a new video. Now I've actually marked one one inch. So the next thing I'll do is to plant my ruffle like so. I'll make sure the half inch here is in between the lines I mark so that by the time I join it with the other one, it will stand on its own. This one will be the front side. It will be facing inward side. So I'll go ahead and use my pin. Now I'm placing the same line of this thing I've already top stitch near the line so that by the time I join both the front pieces and the back pieces, the same line will rhyme with the same line of the rope. So I'll go ahead and plant. You can see what I'm doing, I'm planting it.
Now I've plinted it, you can see, but the damp part, I'll fold it in, like so. Just fold it in, you can see. So I'm through with this side, I'll do the same thing to the second side. So guys, I've plinted it, you can see, at this point now. I'll go to my sewing machine and top stitch at the two sides. Then, after top stitching, the next thing I'll do is to attach my zipper. I'll join the two sides of the back pieces together. It will have a slit here. I'll just mark seven inches. From seven inches there, then I'll use one in to close it up then attach my zipper after then i'll show you the next thing we'll be doing now i've top stitched the two sides you can see that i'll go ahead and remove all the pin i've removed the pins i'll go ahead and place the second one i've already fixed my zip you can see i'll just place it right side facing each other then i'll go ahead and close it up with one inch on the two sides i'll close it up then i'll show you the next thing we'll be doing now i've shaped it you can see the skirt i've shaped it out so the last thing is to attach my band to it i'll open up the zipper like so the first thing i'll do before i add Attach the band is to turn it to the wrong side and close up this edge. The same thing I'll do to the second edge. If I close it up, then I will attach it. So let me go now and close it up. Then I'll show you the next thing I'll do. I've closed it up. The next thing I'll do is to put my band. You can see I've already ironed it out. I'll just use my pin to secure it before I put on this side that is the waistline i will not put it in much i'll just make it that is only half inch that will enter inside you can see only half inch then i'll use my pin to hold it make sure it covers both the back and the front side you can see don't allow it to go deeper just half inch is okay so i'll run it round I've hold it with my pin. I'll go to my sewing machine and top stitch starting from this edge. This is the extension where I'll put my hook and eye. You can see I added an extension. So I'll go ahead and run straight stitches on it. Then attach this hook at the upper side. Then at this end, I'll attach this. So I'll show you the last picture. Of the skirt so guys if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe click on the bell icon to be notified anytime i upload a new video give it a thumbs up share to your friends
Thank you.